Very crafty there, my friend. See what happens? He's used the other plume. He's been hiding in the other plume. You understand? This is how they can end up making much thicker trails. These strange clouds they're making in the sky. Let's get a good look on that one. It's flying back in, it's changing course. It's done this on purpose. Look at that flight path. Let's follow that flight path. Now he's running parallel. It's a thick plume. Is he going to go for the cross? There's crosses over there. It's a great deal of activity here, as you can see from the uh, remnants of chemtrails. Now that one up there. Yeah, what the one that just passed stopped it there. Will this one do the same? Okay, it's past the other one. Is it going for the X and then it will turn it off? Will it be hitting that chemtrail remnant there to form an X? And as it continues in a distance, will the plume stop? And it will turn into a normal contrail. And we'll be left with this persistent plume left in the sky. I suspect it's going to make the cross and then it will turn into a normal contrail on the plane. Let's see what we're going to get. Makes the cross. What happens? Looks to me that like there's a bit of a turn off point. We'll see. Is it going to turn into a normal looking contrail now? Yes. That's what's happened, my friends. Look at that. The plane now continues with a normal looking contrail. Let's try. It's becoming very hazy, difficult to focus. However, look, it's left the thick plume. It's left a thick plume, and in actual fact, it's made its cross there. So you can see, this is absolutely genuine. That plume has left there. There's another plane there with a shorter one. Look. There's no doubt about it. These planes are turning off. They're making their excess grids, uh, clouds in the sky, these fake artificial clouds at different locations. They're making crosses. There's a cross there. It's a very long cross, but it's a cross. And they're leaving these trails in the atmosphere. And we know that these, these are mobile antennas for, for use with HARP. The particles in the atmosphere can then be frequenced, pulsed with energy, and they can use their weather weapons or their mind control weapons. HARP was a particular concern for the European Union back in 1999 when they wanted specifications about the use of weapon, HARP as a weapon, and hu altering human behaviour, which is mind control, was one of their main concerns, which they never got any answers to. Obviously, now they're just complicit. After demonstrating what they can do with HARP, potentially using HARP as a particle beam weapon at 9-11 in combination with thermite explosives and general demolition. We know that 9-11 was a false flag event. Three towers collapsed for a start, a third tower with no plane hitting it. You know, it's 
all the facts are pointing towards a false flag event. We're not absolutely certain whether a particle beam was, weapon was used or whether thermite was used or whatever. It deserves more investigation to confirm the facts. But what we do know is it was a false flag event. We do know that many important documents uh, were destroyed in World Trade Center 7 and we can see the motive. We can see the changes. The Patriot Act, which is a, a very complex act, was drawn up before 9-11, yet it was uh, issued in response to 9-11. So it, they, we can see there are long drawn out plans. And what we can see in the sky here are chemtrails. This isn't to do with geoengineering. Geoengineering is a spin story, just as uh, global warming. This is actually about a weather 